Okay, this is the second video for adjusting the roller on the shaft. We already published the first opposite, so now we're going to second one. One by one, already in the last previous video, we show you how to adjust the down roller. Once it finished, we one by one put the roller inside. And I will show you how we adjust the up roller. Both sides of the old stand already well machining, bearing hosing already well machining and it should be connected together like this. And here is the place that we make some ball here to make it up, lift it and make it pressure on that. So in this video, I'm trying to show you that just the up roller and up roller setup for roll forming machine. As we already explained to you, we need a bio. We're making this a screw inside, push the bearing and keep the bearing in the solid position. Down part of the well. And here is the bolt that I told you. We connected this bolt to lift it and pressure down the shaft. Let me show you the bolt connection.
you sharing your knowledge or experience or method to install and assemble your foaming machine. We are Lotus and we are during the assembly or forming roller and one small chain transmission or forming machine. These are small parts, bolt, nut, roller, chain, stand and design and experience will make a one roll foaming machine work you for a long time. All foaming parts one by one coming to finish all. Machine, you can see we are the machining the solid part for up and one by one. We put it here. All forming different part assembly. It's going to fix the up roller. Then after the fix up roller, we will go to adjust the up roller position. This is the process that each part takes a lot of effort to finalize the size whole everything now we're going to assemble each part should be based on the drawing design In next video, I will show you the adjusted the up roller. This is row forming assembly from Lotus. Small, economic, chain transmission machine. Hope you got you what you need. Any question, feel free to contact us.